Right, so um, before I make any more videos about tips and tricks and stuff like that, I thought I'd um, talk about the pick and dip method um, and the traditional um, method. Uh, it's quite clear now that from a lot of the comments that um, a lot of English bricklayers don't know about this technique which is actually quite a common technique in um, uh, European countries and uh, it's something that I personally think is a lot better uh, so on these first two clips what I've done is um, set up a little profile on top of two courses of blocks to lay 50 bricks um, what I'll do is I'll go at a pace where I'm sort of plodding along I'm going to try and stay at the same pace with both videos uh, with both techniques um, and then I'll join it up take the camera off and uh, show you behind the wall uh, and in front of the wall and we'll just see how long it takes to um, do both and uh, with the actual pick and dip method um, the, the idea of it is so that you cut out a lot of the faffing around with the spreading of the muck um, and what you're actually doing is you're scooping the muck against the brick that you've laid and then rolling the back to the front which in turn fills the perk below as well because when you scoop you'll only fill about 80% of the perp but then when you pass over on the next course when you do the same uh, method you'll scoop 80% of the perp against the brick and then when you roll it down and squeeze it down you'll fill the other 20% up with that um, rolling method um, but yeah it's basically you're rolling it from the back to the front which stops the uh, muck from actually going out of the back um, that's the best way I can describe it anyway um, talk about the type of brick that we're using um, it's very small to gauge length and height and the frogs are very deep so yeah it does look like I'm using a lot of muck uh, when I watch the videos back it, I'd probably say the same to some other cunt if that was if that was me in the comments section but I could assure you that the amount of muck that I'm using is um, how much I need to get full joints with that brick um, and I can assure you as well if you use the traditional method where you're furrowing the bricks out you are going to have voids underneath the bricks um, you, you will get your full perp joints always um, with the traditional method but a lot of bricklayers won't like to admit this but they furrow out more than they need to so they don't have to push the brick down as far which does leave voids underneath um, so in my eyes creating a void in the bricks is bad practice um, but that's just my opinion you know who gives a fuck um,
You can have a practice if you want. What do you say? Nothing. So you can have a practice if you want. Not yet though. So this is the cavity. Or what would be the cavity as you can see not a lot has been dropped at all obviously I missed that snot there but um, I mean everyone thought that because there was a lot coming out the front that there must have been a lot coming out the, out the back but as you can see there's nothing there really nothing to be ashamed of uh, and the front is just mainly where um, where I jointed it up really obviously the jointing could be a lot better than that but it was just a rough idea that you don't need your trowel to fill up most of the holes because there's not really that many holes um,
Busy bay. Can't you see I'm doing this? Well babe, just let me do the video.
this is the back of the long bed spread, traditional method. Um, if anything, I'd say there's a little bit more there. And this is the front. I found that when I was perping the brick, uh, you was getting little bits flicking off, um, going onto the grass. Um, yeah, so there. That's the two methods. That, that's the method that I used before, and the method that I use now. After that, what do we have? Then I've got a, two short clips of um, being on site. Um, again, using the pick and dip versus the traditional method. And this is where, for me, the pick and dip really does shine over the traditional method because I, I can pretty much not far lay off double what I can with the other uh, with the traditional method. Um, and at the end of the day, we're all on price. There's lo lots of us that are on price, and these videos that I'm doing are just to try and help anyone out there, just trying to get an extra few bricks down. And pff, I was actually quite shocked, to be honest, with how many more bricks I got down on the top course compared to the other way, uh, the old way, the traditional way that I used to use. Um, and I definitely won't be laying bricks like that again after watching this video. <laughs> Your business is 
A test of character. Opening a business account shouldn't be. In fact, it should be effortless. Mm. Your side business banking, you can open a current account in minutes. With no monthly fees, invoicing, accounting integration, and much more. It's why we're trusted by over 70,000 GP businesses. The new Valua Walmex sweater. Would you trade in your favorite old jumper for a discount? Of course you wouldn't. So why can't exchange when you switch cards? Wouldn't it be better to keep it simple? Same with WeBuyAnyCar.com could put you in the driving seat to get a great deal on your next car. Take your reg number now at WeBuyAnyCar.com. Admitting their flight. For more information, see WeBuyAnyCar.com slash Amigo has helped over 100,000 people consolidate their debt into an affordable monthly payment. Over 20,000 people move into more furnished their home. And over 100,000 people to get on the road. With a guarantor, you can borrow between 500 and 10,000 pounds, and you could get the money in less than 24 hours. We've already helped over 300,000 people get the money they need. Start your story today at amigoloans.co.uk. Representative 49.9% APR value. Right now, Bonus Loan enjoys four times more data on the brilliant iPhone 10 and other payments and phones. And get more cues pumping, get more FaceTimes rolling, get more apps clicking, more maps mapping, more emojis emojis, and more box sets binging in stunning HD. That's four times more data with 60 gigs for the price of 15 on a range of pay monthly Not phones, worse. including the brilliant iPhone 10R. The future's exciting. Ready? Vodafone. The term is key and see Vodafone at Vodafone. This ain't just lunch. It's the KFC fill up lunch for $1.99. It's my fine. Tim was just fine, so jump in line because it's time to dine on a mini fillet burger, two hot wings, and fries, all for a fist pump in $1.99. The KFC fill up lunch every day until 3 p.m. At participating restaurants available every day from 6th of May to the 16th of June until 3 p.m. only. 3, 2, 1. Taking this time. 10 a.m. on Thursday morning. Justin walks in with another hour of old school nations on history, starting with Estelle and Kanye West. Size difference. Bad wrist. Not bad wrist. Um, the size of the trowels that that you use for traditional versus pick and dip. The pick and dip trowel is it's a ten inch trowel that is literally it it'll probably be about an eight inch trowel now. Um, and the 11 inch is pretty new so it is a full 11 inch trail and you can just feel the, the massive weight difference on your wrist and if you're laying bricks all day every day why put that strain on your wrist if there is an easier way um, you know but that, that's that's up to you isn't it at the end of the day um, don't take a genius to work out after watching this video which way is better and if you're so fucking uh, dim-witted that you can't accept it and you're, you're stuck in your own ways then you know keep fucking cracking on at it do it your own fucking way do you know what I mean but I mean the, the proof's in the pudding I think I'll stick to my pick and dip